I mean, just look at it. How can this not be a car that you want in your collection for just below 100 euros? Hello, this is Barrett. Today, we're going to continue and see what are, in my opinion, the top five best car to buy right now. They could potentially be a good long term hold. As always, this is not a financial advice, just me looking at the market and in particular, as it's going to be from now on, just look at the European market. So let's just get started. So look at V from Silver Tempest. So this car started off pretty strong back when it was first released. I remember it going for 200 to between 200 to 20. It also hit 240, I believe, and then it just came back down. So as you can see here on car market, I just filter just English and near mint condition cards. And as you can see, they kind of start from 160 euros. Most of them, if you look at it, are off center. This has off center and back issues. And then if you look at this one, for instance, this is also off center, left to right. So they are near mint, but definitely not PSA 10 candidates. If we take a look at last old on eBay, just looking at what happened in the European market, we can see how BGS9 sold for 215 euros in Germany last month. And then we have a PSA 9 for 185 euros also in Germany two months ago, basically. And then this summer, the only PSA 10 for auctions that we had again in Germany sold for 346 euros. Now, if we take a look at the American market, you can see how you can get your hands on a PSA 10 for somewhere around $300, which would be roughly 280 euros. But then obviously, if you buy in the US, you need to factor in custom duties and shipping. So 300, 277 best offer, 250 best offer, 280, 295. So somewhere between 280 and 300, I would say is a fair price. I'm a bit confused about this sales on November 11th at $395 as it's roughly $100 more than the average sales for the past month. So I'm a bit confused by that, which is why I st still stick to 300 to 280 to $300. So next one on the list is obviously must be the Charizard V Alt R from Brilliant Stars. Now this car didn't get much appreciation at when it first got released and then price just kept on dropping. So now as you can see here, we can find some listings between 140 to 150 euros. We take a look at some of these it's not bad but we do have top to bottom centering issues as you can see so yeah again probably you can get a, a near mint to mint copy for 150 euros is it going to be a psa tech candidate it might be we don't know which is why if we take a look at more recent sales on ebay for the european market you can see how the last psa 10 sold in germany for 342 euros and then Two months ago, roughly September 24th, also in Germany, a PSA 10 sold for 272 euros. So it's an 80 euro difference in a matter of a little over one month, which is quite interesting. And then once again, if we take a look at the American market, we can see how last PSA 10 sold for 200 euros at auction. And then again, 211 also at auctions. So I feel like it's safe to say that around 200 euros, 220 and most is a fair price in a PSA 10 for at least the American market. So still not sure about that 350 euro price tag. To think about it, $200 is roughly 108 euros. Let's say shipping was $30. So let's say you, you pay roughly 210 euros for the car plus shipping, then you add a 20% on top of that, and you get left with 250 euros, which is still a long way off that 342 euro sale. Now, moving on, Rayquaza VMAX from Evolving Skies. So this car, I guess last year was hitting $300 and now it came down here, as you can see for around 250 to 280 euros raw. Now again, can these be near mint? Yes. Are they going to be PSA 10 candidates? We don't know, not like here you can see, definitely off center left to right. So again, you're gonna get near mint copy maybe PSA 9, PSA 10, not too sure. And if we take a look at eBay sales, you can see how we only have a CGC 9 for 302 euros on October 20th. And then the last PSA 10 that sold in the European market was in Germany at auction for 510 euros. 
So two months ago, 510 euros for a PSA 10 request of VMAX. Now, once again, let's take a look at the American market and we can see how most recent PSA 10 are selling for 330 to $350. So roughly 330 to 340, I would say is a fair price in a PSA 10 for this car, at least in the American market. And once again, $330 is roughly 300 euros. You factor in shipping, so let's say you add 30 euros on top of that, we're back to 330 euros. And if you add a 20% on that, roughly you get just below 400 euros. So potentially 400 euros if you want to ship to your house and buy it in the US against two month old listing at 510 euros. So once again, quite the difference here, a 100 euro difference, which is roughly a 25 to 30% difference in terms of price change between these two markets, the European and the Americans. Now, moving on, a car that is the cheapest on the list, it's the Arceus V from Brilliant Stars. Now, quite don't understand why this car is so cheap. You can get, again, near mint. Is it going to be PSA 10? Probably not. For 35 euros. And I mean, just, just look at the artwork. I don't get why this so cheap let's play the same trick if you take a look at european sales we have psa 9 on november 5th for 30 euros at auction now this sale was a steal in my opinion 30 euros for a psa 9 considering that all in all you're going to pay at least 15 dollars just to have it graded and then if you factor in shipping and all you kind of 30 years basically the price of the grading fee once you factor in shipping from and to the US. So I'm not sure if this auction went through. And then uh, on October 1st, we had a 52 euro for PSA 9. Again, quite a good price in my opinion, not as good as this 30 euro for a PSA 9. Well, in early September, a PSA 10 copy of this car sold in the Netherlands for 63 euros. Again, quite a steal in my opinion, 63 euros for a PSA 10 or an Arceus was quite a good deal in my opinion. Now, last but not least, we're going to take a look at Giratina V-Star from Crown Zenith. Now, this card is played in the Giratina Lost Zone deck. But I don't know how many people are going to play this specific copy of the card, but nonetheless, look at it. How can you not want this card in your collection? So as you can see here, again, near mint copy is selling for around 90 euros. If we take a look at some raw copies, you can see, I'm not sure if this most likely is the sleeve again this is off center it looks like it was twisted to the left as you can see here this border is much thinner than this one here so again is it going to be a psa 10 copy probably not some of these might be but again 85 to 90 euros for a raw near mint copy and then if we take a look at some sales you can see how the only psa 10 that we had was an auction early September again in Germany for 178 euros, which not a bad price. Now Gearkin has come down as we've had the most recent reprint of the set. And if we take a look at the American market once again, we can see how it is now selling for around 120 to 130 dollars. And here we have a best offer accepted in the EU for 160 euros November 10th. So pretty good deal because if we factor in once again as we did with the other cards. $120, roughly 110, 205 euros, let's say 30 euros for shipping. And then we have we have a total 140. If you factor in custom duties, roughly 20%, you have $168. So 160 for a PSA 10 copy that is already in the European Union, not a bad price, in my opinion. Can this come down lower? It might, but again, $120 for a PSA 10 copy sounds like a good deal to me. Now, these were my top five buys, in my opinion, for the moment we're in. Now, if you enjoyed the video, I'd go recommend check my previous video on Pokemon Invested in Europe. Is it possible? Where I go over what are some differences between the European and the American market when it comes to Pokemon cards. So, thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, it really helps. And leave a comment what you think are the best top five cards to buy at the moment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.